I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 of the biggest trolls in history. <sighs> I cannot wait to read the comments on this one. <laughs> oh, come on, that's just stupid. Twenty-five. Pablo Escobar. He took his son to see the White House while the DEA and Interpol were looking for him. 24. Oliver Porky Bicar. A resident of Alaska, Oliver decided to ignite Mount Edgecombe, a dormant volcano. He pulled it off on April Fool's 1974 by dropping 70 tires on the summit and lighting them on fire. The prank worked like a charm and news of the rumbling volcano spread around the world. 23. Count Victor Lustig. One of the most successful con men in history, Victor tried selling the Eiffel Tower twice by posing as a government official, and he actually managed to get some money for it. Furthermore, Lustig means comical in German. 22. Diogenes of Sinope. When Plato once defended a man as being a featherless biped, Diogenes left a plucked chicken on his doorstep with a note. Behold, I have brought you a man. It is also said that Diogenes died from holding his breath. 21. John Titter. John Titter was a name used on several forums in 2000 and 2001 by someone claiming to be a time traveler from 2036. He made several predictions about the future, and the crazy thing is, lots of people believed him. So that's what the doctor's real name is. Hmm. 20. Jonathan Swift. Jonathan is well known for publishing a modest proposal in 1729, a satirical piece in which he suggested for poor Irish families to sell their children to rich families as a source of food. It went over the heads of many people though, and Jonathan was slammed in the press for suggesting that babies would make a good source of food. 19. Mark Gubin. A resident of Milwaukee that lives near the airport, Mark wrote, Welcome to Cleveland in huge letters on the roof of his house. 18. Austria. <laughs> That's right, the entire country. Why? Because they managed to convince the world that Hitler was German and Beethoven was Austrian. 17. Zhuge Liang. A Chinese general nearly 2,000 years ago, Zhuge needed to defend his village with only a ragtag army. He decided to sit outside the gate sipping tea until the enemy arrived. Fearing an ambush, the enemy retreated. 16. Andy Warhol. He once pointed a camera at the Empire State Building for several days and released it as a movie called Empire. 15. Basil Zaharoff. A Greek arms dealer, he once sold a submarine to the Greek government. He then told the Turks that the Greeks had a submarine and sold them two submarines. Lastly, he went to the Russians and told them the Turks had two submarines, so he sold them two as well. None of the submarines actually worked. 14. Orson Welles. Although it was unintentional, when Orson's War of the Worlds was broadcast on the radio, many people thought that Martians were actually invading. 13. Marcel Duchamp A French-American artist, Marcel hated the modern-slash-high art scene, and so he once submitted a signed urinal to an art exhibit. 12. Edgar Allan Poe While at West Point, Edgar was expelled because his drill instructor told him to put on his NCO belt and show up to formation. He showed up with only his NCO belt. If you know what I mean, there's nothing else. Just the belt. 11. Machiavelli. He wrote The Prince and The Discourses, both of which elaborated on his political ideas. The issue? They contradict each other. Only recently have people come to the possible conclusion that The Prince was a troll piece. 10. The United Kingdom. During World War II, Britain didn't want Germany to know that they had radar and were using it to detect their bombers, so they came out with a public service announcement claiming that their pilots had superior vision because they ate lots of carrots. Everybody, including Germany, believed them. 9. Abby Hoffman He took a tour of the FBI headquarters while being wanted by the FBI. 8. Ben Franklin he was allegedly such a troll that the other founding fathers had to proofread the Constitution to make sure he didn't include any jokes. 7. James Randi A retired Canadian magician, James would follow psychics around and expose them on national TV. 6. Penn and Teller 
Like James Randi, these two American magicians have entire TV shows dedicated to exposing psychics, paranormal activists, conspiracy theorists, and others. Moreover, other magicians hate them, because quite often they tell the audience how they do their tricks. 5. Piltdown Man So the troll wasn't actually the Piltdown Man. The Piltdown Man was the caveman that was found in a pit in England. For years, scientists thought the caveman was the key to understanding human evolution, until it was exposed as a hoax nearly 40 years later. 4. Frank Abingdale Jr. Possibly one of history's greatest con men, and the subject of the movie Catch Me If You Can, by the age of 21, Frank had used fake credentials to work as a pilot, doctor, and lawyer. He also wrote enough bad checks to go to jail for over a decade. He ended up serving only part of his sentence, though, when the FBI offered him a job in spotting forgeries. Today, he's a millionaire. 3. Iceland and Greenland. Or rather, the person that named them. Greenland is covered in ice, and Iceland is, well, also covered in ice, but it's definitely greener than Greenland. 2. Juan Pujol Garcia. Possibly one of the primary reasons for the Allies succeeding at Normandy, Juan was a double agent for both the Germans and the British. He managed to be awarded the most excellent order of the British Empire for convincing the Germans that Normandy was a distraction to the real invasion. In spite of this, he was also awarded the Iron Cross from the Germans for his valiant effort during the war. 1. The Greeks For taking over the city of Troy using a huge horse. That's it. Roll credits. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.